plus minus three star three star C right so <coughs> Therefore, if any value lies beyond plus minus three star sigma, then it involves shows. Main play and then non -mode. spike in the So basically, if you want to identify any unusual occurrences in a trend of day in a say in a variable where you have a trend of observations, or you have a list of observations running over time, then this plus, new plus minus 3 sigma would give me, uh, would basically give me an overall idea about how the variable is behaving. Right. So, in, uh, so if you see that if the value lies beyond plus minus 3 sigma, you know that it's an outlier, it's a possible outlier. Right. So, uh, this is something that we need to uh, look into. Right, so uh, this is uh, one particular, so this is one important implication of normality. So, normal, so this approach of looking into values beyond uh, the interval of plus minus sigma is very important for data quality check procedures where you are actually looking over the averages over time and you suddenly observe a sudden spike you know that there might be an issue with it. And to deep dive in where you look into the percentile values of 99, 99.5, uh, 5%, say 99.5, 99.99, something like that. Right? So this is one important right. implication of normality. Yeah, Manish, any questions? No. No, okay. But some certain tests are also there, right? For so checking that normality. Yeah, so we come to that. We come to the test. So I'm just identifying, we're just trying to identify the important implications of normality. So another important normality is that uh, normality implies the homogeneity of implies homogeneity in the behavior of the data. Like the behavior of a variable. Uh, this rules out of heterogeneous risk segment. We do. Within a given variable, the variable is not categorical. It is not categorical. Even if The average 
mean behavior. Very over time. Does not vary over. Right, so this is, uh, these are the two important implications that uh, normal distribution normality of a variable will have. So, <coughs> what I, uh, so basically whenever I am talking about a normal distribution, I am just talking about distribution where there are, uh, where the fluctuation is very minimal and the fluctuation is not, mean, I, I mean the, and the fluctuation uh, within the given variable is minimal. And even if it's a category first, the possibilities are that there are not a much similar categories and even if there are categories then you know, the average behavior does not vary across categories. So if it does, then the distribution would be a non-normal distribution. So the basic idea of non-normal distribution and mostly a normal distribution implies a normal that there is full information of the variable. Right, so uh, these are some of the basic implications of normality. So normality implies that uh, there is full information about the variable that we are using and the results of the sample. can be directly extended to the so basically uh, one important thing about some random samples or some normal distribution is that these variables are the variable from normal distribution mostly in the random uh, distribution or uh, say so basically what I was saying is that uh, most of these variables they can be extended to although the results of the samples for these population can be extended at the population level as well. Right, so uh, these are some of the most important implications of normality. So the next question that we would ask is how to identify